hey virgo welcome back to my channel this is kelly from house of virgo do go over to my other channel moon pie tarot if you do not know you can get a daily collective reading over there for me um that is just for all signs so if you need a little extra boom boom in your readings definitely go check it out please be mindful these are just general message uh sorry general love messages take what fits leave the rest this is virgo's only virgo sun moon rising or venus hi everybody in the chat how are you guys doing okay um so hope everyone had a great weekend i cannot believe it's august 1st as i'm recording this so let's get into this rating oh my goodness sunglasses somebody is watching you looking stalking uh gaslighting i'm not watching you I, I, i'm not watching you they're hiding okay that's what that gaslighting means for me okay with the sunglasses it's kind of like you know they get their glasses on and they're but they're peeking behind their glasses and if you know they are you question they're going to act like they're not so they're kind of like t that's the gaslighting making you think it's not happening but it is perception focusing outward on you somebody's watching you they're keeping their eye on you somehow okay cupid's arrows my goodness love is coming surprise invitation or meeting um there is hesitation here okay there is hesitation and that's because somebody's kind of checking you out right now or they're watching you um hold on let me get a little more light i feel like i have light issues <laughs> maybe that'll help a little bit okay so yeah somebody's yeah keep his arrows there's love coming in here have faith uh, but this is a surprise you're not now some of you may not know someone's watching you and they come in and they're kind of like um there we go they come in and you know reach out to you invite you or want to connect with you meet up with you um and the gaslighting kind of and you may not even realize that they're doing this so the energy is like oh um uh did it's kind of all right so how am i saying this what, what are they trying to say it's like they could be watching you on social media or spying and <clears throat> you meet them i'm getting this scenario in my head like it's a picture you meet them and it's like wait aren't we friends on social media like no <laughs> something strange like that you know like it, it just feels like they don't want you to know okay that they're watching you now is this a new love could be is this an an old love could be okay but there's definitely going to be a reach out happening here in august oh my goodness date there you go meeting somebody new okay dating getting back out there planning setting a date oh my goodness all right i feel like a small percentage of you and this is a past person coming back um and if you're waiting for that put it on the side get out there and date connect with whomever so this looks good this looks good all right let's get into this let's get into this full-on message here okay so somebody's definitely got their eye on you and that cupid's arrow message is like i'm, I'm seeing it's weird i'm seeing um okay Her, they're giving me the name herbert <laughs> herbert or or herb or somebody's smoking some herb maybe they're, they're giving me the name herbert is that a, is that a name herbert or herbie or chirby herb <laughs> okay i'm just gonna leave that there i don't know if that's her name or it's a nickname um maybe you know that person maybe that's that that name resonates for you in some way all right let's take a look let's look at this person who's coming in okay let's take a look at this person who's coming in oh okay oh so okay for some it could be a scorpio we have a scorpio sign here pluto um mars so this person is you know remorseful regretful they're sad um they have a heartbreak they're um they had something happen and unwelcome change occurred and um 
they're welcoming in a new opportunity for love okay this person is like coming in maybe they had a heartbreak or something ended for them in the past and they're getting themselves back out there okay and are going to ask you out or uh try to connect with you so they have some grief or some loss i don't feel like this is a rebound or anything like that but um i just feel like they've you might relate to this with this you know person like uh some there might be a conversation that you guys have where you know oh yeah i, I broke up with someone and are we ended and and they say the same thing so there's there's i just feel like some type of conversation about loss or heartbreak in the past um it's not dwelling on it it's moving forward okay it's like i've overcome it i've overcome some obstacle you know i'm in a better position now i'm ready to get back out there you know i i have my self-discipline back i'm i'm focusing on my work you know um and i want to pick you up and in my brand new car <laughs> and go somewhere take you out to dinner or um, meet you somewhere and um you know i'm doing better i just bought a brand new car like i'm uh, i had a lot of loss and some grief There's, so we have cancer energy you know but I'm, I'm victorious i've overcome a lot of stuff and i feel like i'm ready right um now they might not tell you that right away this is something that could just show up later um now for some of you this is august 7th this energy could you know when is august 7th i feel like did i say that yesterday so next sunday there might be um a date that gets planned or you guys get together let's see okay oh wow so yeah the second week of august next week something's happening here the devil Ooh. okay um <laughs> you know um i'm just gonna keep it real here this this person um they have obsessive tendencies okay and i don't I, all right so it's like they're just telling me maybe this person's a taurus i just heard um there's capricorn energy here as well um i feel like this person has um very strong sex drive okay but it's it's like it's not like obsessive like crazy or bad i don't always see the devil as a bad thing but i feel like this person gets hooked um and will be someone that will really be into you is how i feel a very sexual activity like this person's a very sexual person okay and i said that like three times so i'm sure my sponsors are going to be like nope you're out of here um but i do feel like this person um like it's very important to them does that mean that you're going to meet them and you guys are going to you know hop around in the bedroom the first night not necessarily um i feel like if it happened this person wouldn't be one of those people that says oh okay i'm well we're not like that's it i'm just and then i'm gonna breadcrumb you later i don't feel like that's the energy of this person i feel like they're very charitable and they're very giving and i feel like it's it's they give as much as they will take okay so what i feel like is you're not going to be the only one giving this person's very giving in the bedroom is how i feel um very physically intimate like it's not going to be all for them and none for you okay i don't know why they're telling me to give you this message with this person it just feels even keel you know what i mean um i feel like this person likes to share you know and so it, in the f so here's a taurus card as well so in the element of being together in a physical sense a physically intimate way it's um it's very balanced because we have the the scales here this person um will take care of you and you know like you're not gonna i keep repeating it you're not gonna get left all by yourself is what i'm trying to say <laughs> okay <laughs> and even like the position of of these people here if you know what i mean like if you're a male or if you are um a female you know there's like a lot of reciprocity <laughs> not i mean even for some of you maybe it's a threesome i don't know if you like that kind of thing so i don't know it, it just feels like a, a very giving nature from this person <laughs> um this is definitely somebody new this is definitely somebody new okay 
Um, now, for some of you, maybe you dated this person before. You might have. Um, and for some reason, it didn't pan out or something. It just, you guys never, it didn't get off the ground. There could be this, because watching you, this person might be on your social media um, or your friends. You could be just friends for some of you. This is just a friendship that turns into, you know what? Let's get together. Let's date. Let's, you know, that kind of thing. All right. Let me see. What else is the energy for this person? And this just tried to flip out. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> very physical attraction. Very strong physical attraction. Sagittarius Leo, Aries energy. New, 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 new beginnings. Physically starting something. Okay, so for a lot of you, this relationship is going to have a very, it's going to be a very physical relationship, um, which is like, I'm telling you, there's going to be no dry bone graveyard anywhere. This is going to be like, there's going to be a lot of growth. You're going to turn each other on. There's going to be an outpouring here of physical attraction, passion, finding new passion between each other. Um, a lot of potential for growth here with this person and um they initiate they this is someone who initiates and reaches out and initiates your i have to tell you virgo you're not going to be wondering why they didn't text back you're not going to be wondering why so much time has gone by and they haven't called no 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 um this person is going to be crazy into you and like you're going to hear back from, this person is high in confidence um and they are um not someone who's insecure i'm not picking up insecure energy they don't play games if you know like they're never going to leave you kind of questioning or doubting or wondering um what they're up to they're they're going because i just feel like they get kind of like physically attached to you in some way there's, um, oh my goodness, <laughs> 10 of wands. Um, it's going to be an overload. Um, I feel like this person, um, they're giving me the word saddled, straddle, <laughs> saddled, straddled. Um, <laughs> there's going to be, it's just very physical. I'm just picking up a very physically, a very physical relationship, but it's, it's not, it's not strictly just physical, okay? It's not. I feel like it, it'll it start out that way. I, I don't know it's going to be the first night, but it's it's just going to keep going. There's just something, I don't know. It, well, yeah, I do know because you're a Virgo and you have that effect on people. You get people attached to you physically, right? You might not think that, but um, you do initially and it, this person is just going to keep wanting more and more and more and it'll it, it it almost will feel like oh my gosh again we just five minutes ago really again <laughs> it's like you know okay so let's see all right they're just giving me here whoops i just saw it knight of wands so this is somebody new this is not your ex fire sign okay uh leo it's all fire here uh this is uh showing up as aries as well okay so all fire this person is coming sitting here with this king of wands male or female energy um they just it feels like because it's vision so it's like this person if you're friends with this person and something gets started um, it's like all they can envision and think about is being with you like in a physical sense oh my gosh here you go the lovers the ten of cups so yeah I mean this is going to turn into like you're going to marry this person or it just be in like happily ever after with them a long term kind of thing deep partnership union you know it's a major decision getting made from two by two people to come together and be vulnerable and you know completely um naked whether that's in the actual sense or just you're you know transparent with each other and opening yourselves up to each other um this is soulmate kindred spirits a perfect union partnership relationship romance desire sexual connection shared values it's beautiful and then that ten of cups energy that's marriage right there okay um happiness family happy families 
kids, um, you know, being very happy uh, with this connection, family members being happy with this connection, um, family gatherings, you guys might have a connection, um, the, a meeting of families, that kind of thing, long-term relationships, stability, emotional security. Okay, this is, this is beautiful. This is absolutely like, this is what you needed, Virgo. You need to have something new um, and, and have your hope back again for love, okay? There's somebody coming in here and don't be scared off by the physical intimacy, ladies, because, you know, that physical intimacy is, it plays a crucial role in the relationship. If not, if you don't have, because that's a way to connect the soul, deep soul connection as well. Okay, so I, okay, really? How, why are my readings going this way? Here you go. Explosive. It's going to be an explosive. Do you know what I mean? Look, just one touch. Boom. <laughs> just one touch. Boom. You're going to feel that way. They're going to feel that way. Um, it's going to give um, revelation. It's going to bring revelation. Like, wow, I feel like, wow, uh, like, now they're giving me, what is it with these spirits giving me these songs? Drake song, the best I ever had. Baby, you're my everything, you're all I ever wanted. That's it, that song, listen to that song. That's what I'm hearing. That's how the feeling, the feeling is going to be. <laughs> my goodness these cards that are coming out the ace of cups new beginnings new relationship new romance love happiness joy conception fertility pregnancy celebration socializing feel good moments okay uh feel good stuff um now for some of you you know that while we're looking here at um cancer scorpio pisces energy we're looking at gemini twice Pis or once Pisces here we go with um, cancer energy a reunion a celebration going to a party together uh, some gatherings connecting with friends this is like maybe going to a festival or um, a concert in August um, a wedding together an engagement party uh, attending a graduation together a baby shower it's just happy times with you and this person and and f it's not just love it's not just physical intimacy it's also friendship which is lovely you know it's like two people like you get each other it's just a match made in heaven with this person i love this i love it i love this for you all right i'm done with these cards here you go four of wands i mean come on <laughs> come on really virgo Things are going well for you. Virgo's like, can't possibly be. Virgo, I know you're pinching yourself. Are you serious with this reading? Happy family, reunion again, coming home, celebration, surprise, parties, weddings, events, feeling welcome, community or family coming together, community spirit, teamwork, success. It's all there. It is all there. This is the love of your life. This is what you thought before was the love of your life maybe that wasn't it maybe your twin flame in the past was a false twin flame you got to find that out but i feel like even if you're just dating this person things are going to evolve and it's going to be that that this person saying to you now i don't know what you how you're going to feel about it but this person is going to want to marry you they want you to be theirs forever listen to that drake song i'm telling you that that's them singing that song listening to that song over and over again after you're together they're going to be playing that wish i could remember the words baby you're my everything you're all i ever wanted uh, you could i can't remember i used to know it <laughs> i can't remember all right let me see what the love messages are here. This is beautiful. Okay. Well, this showed up in reverse codependency. So we're going to... Um, so codependency here, addictions are affecting your romantic life. But it showed up in reverse. So somebody's healed from codependency. It could be you. Or you're not going to feel that way. 
right, in this connection. Do you remember when I was saying, like, sometimes those twin flames can trigger things within us, right? And and there's people that come from very healthy families. They had lovely, beautiful, stable upbringings, and they get involved with someone who is not well, and that's like a virus, and it attaches itself to you, and you become unwell. The longer that you spend time with someone where there's maybe codependency or an addiction, okay? And so like when I was saying, if, if you were with someone who was leaving you on red, and uh, maybe not calling you back and, and not giving to the relationship and being in and out of your life, that could have created a dynamic in you if it went on for a long time where you might have become a little codependent or you might have felt like, like it started affecting you because that stuff does happen. It affects your brain waves. That's neuroplasticity. Our brains can change based on trauma and things like that. Healing from that, okay? And that's why I was saying somebody's going to come in here and show you what it's like to be loved. They're going to show you um, how to be loved properly if you weren't in the past, okay? Are you going to go forward with this person? You might. You might. It might just be a learning lesson for you. It might be something that you need to have this time in your life. Um, if you were in um, an abusive relationship or you were involved with someone who was just not putting um, the relationship, not pursuing it, in the w maybe in the way you were, and weren't matching your energy, you let go. This, is, this feels like someone's going to come in and show you what a real relationship looks like, what it means. And you're going to get yourself back, I do feel. I don't know if you're going to accept fully uh, any marriage offers or anything like that. You might, but it just feels to me like however it turns out, this is a, a, a majorly beautiful and something that I feel like you might need. I don't know specifically who, but so much adventure and fun. Okay, yeah, you're going to feel like you're on a honeymoon. <laughs> you're going to feel like you're on your honeymoon with this person. Yeah, uh, enjoying the bliss of holiday time together. So if there's any, you know, you get the holidays coming up. It's already August. So we're going into the last four months. Um September, October, November, December, where the action starts happening, holidays. So you might be spending time, this This might be your person, you might have a, a Christmas lover. You might have a Christmas lover or even be married by that time. Okay. Oh my goodness. Introducing to family, you know, your, your, your important people. There you go. Romantic feelings. Wow. This is beautiful. This is the best honestly the best read ever usually we're dealing with ship stain shit stains bloody stumps keeping it moving all that stuff and and i know it hasn't been that way for a little while but this here takes the cake this takes the cake this is something virgo that you need oh yes you do yes you do you need to feel that someone f has romantic feelings for you and uh, that you know that you both can indulge in each other and just have that you know like people are like oh but it, it, no why not right virgo why not why not be happy you can be you can be happy okay allow it let yourself be you know calgon take me away <laughs> let it happen virgo let me see what other messages you have here Okay. Oh yeah, you got time to go. Get your GPS set and take off. You know where you're going and how to get there. Now it's time to go. Don't waste any more time in your love life. Just do it. Go after what you want. No hesitation. Blockages are being removed. We've got new plans are evolving here in your love life. Okay. So you get asked out on a date, go. If someone wants to spend time with you, go. Feel that love. This person can be loving up on you with those Cupid's arrows, okay? And there's nothing negative coming out in this reading at all. The only thing that I saw was this Five of Cups, where this person, they may have gone through the same thing and somebody wasn't treating them right or loving them, okay? Look at that, negative thinking in the reverse. Beautiful, okay? Get out that stinking thinking. Positive energy, positive, good Focus on the good, okay? To change those brave change those brave waves. Endure and be patient about that. It's not gonna happen overnight. But get yourself 
you know, into that, the more, the more you're exposed to positive, good feelings, the more that is like a virus that attaches to you. The more you're exposed to the positive things in life, the more you open up and become more positive focused, right? It's really difficult to do it on your own, but when you're around people who are positive and they're energetic and they're energizing you and you're energizing in return because we're energy and it's good energy, that that kind of thing just it affects you the same way the negative energy affects you so get around this positive energy emotional wish is being granted here for you this is something that i know you've been praying about and i know you've been wanting for yourself um and it's coming in um so like i said the second week of august looks pretty awesome but you know virgo if it doesn't happen the second week of august uh, just be patient because this whole reading is for August. All right, let's see what else other messages you have here. Okay, what is the Chinese sign of this person who's showing up? Let's see. Okay, year of the snake. Uh, year of the rabbit. Rabbits are very beautiful. Year of the dragon. Okay powerful dragon year of the rooster so just remember if you're new if you don't know your chinese sign you can just look up the year of your birth just google it and you'll be able to find it this could be you and your person or just you or just them okay okay we have year of the goat year of the tiger year of the rat year of the pig and year of the monkey Okay, beautiful. Let me just check real quick and see what your... Oh my goodness. I should start doing readings just for the Chinese signs, shouldn't I? Just for the, for the month, Chinese sign month. Okay, Moonology message. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. There you go. You are good enough for this. You deserve this, Virgo. Okay, this is for you. Embrace it. You deserve this. You are worth this. This love, this uh, chivalry, this person coming in and taking care of you and giving you that love um, that you deserve. Not only that, but the respect and treating you well. Okay, you're worth this. Embrace this when it comes in. What else do we want to do? Let's see. All right, we have a Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces. Remember, this is new. It's not your past person. There's new written all over this thing. If you want it to be your past person, change it up as you want. You don't have to, but that's up to you. And we have an Aries. Okay, let me see. If you want to change it up, that it's a new love start with someone from your past you can do that if it resonates for you oh my goodness look at this <gasps> look at this so you have a snowflake okay you also have so the snowflake is one two three four five six stars you also have a shamrock it's got leaves on it okay and you also have a flower and that also these are all pointed stars pointed leaves crazy um four five and six okay that might resonate for you could be april 1956 it could be um uh somebody's 45 or 56 change those numbers around as you like but i'm just hearing four five six or you know do it box five four six these could be phone numbers six five four switch it up as you as you want five six four these could be phone numbers maybe that'll resonate for you i've never gotten a message like that looking at the charms but i will say the snowflake the holiday okay so i know some of you live in areas where there is no snow in maybe at all or there's no snow in um well, just in your area, or it's backwards. Some of you might have like warm season 
during December, during Christmas, and some of you might have snow. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just a period of, it feels like Christmas. That's what I'm trying to say. There's something here about Christmas is going to be incredibly significant. Okay. Um, somebody might be from Ireland or is Irish. Okay. Um, I just, I just, they gave me an image right when I said that they gave me an image of Robert De Niro. I don't know why Robert freaking De Niro just popped into my head when he was young. Okay. Um, and this pink flower, pink flowers and a diamond that is significant for someone. Pink flowers. They're saying pink soap. Maybe it's pink flower soap. Um, oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, either you're going to receive this or you're going to give this. I, I just see an image of someone opening or cracking open or breaking open a pink bar of soap and there's a diamond in it. Okay, maybe you're going to... Listen, you could be either receiving this or giving it you might just see it on instagram where people shave the snoop or shave the soap um <laughs> i don't know I'm, I'm just seeing this image of someone cracking open a bar of pink soap and there's a diamond in there which is strange okay maybe it has like a flower fragrance to it maybe that's a creative idea you're gonna have um maybe you're gonna sell those make soaps and put gems or jewels in them something like that maybe that's something you're already thinking about it's actually not a bad idea i wouldn't you know <laughs> okay so let's look at the numbers here okay so somebody so i have the numbers 23 could be august 23rd could be your birthday or someone's turning 23 we also have 55 so somebody could be uh 55 or born in 1955 and i'm also just picked up that's so weird I just picked up 5150 and so I know that there is an old Van Halen record called 5150 okay so maybe someone is a, is a Van Halen fan or maybe someone named and they're just saying Samantha or Sammy or David okay um, or someone likes that music or maybe you're listening to it now or you were um, you might maybe you live in California or someone lives in California I think that's where that group was from there's that's I'm really listen <laughs> I've got like 70s and 80s rocker spirits here with me there's no doubt okay um, so I'm picking up 1982 and a3 that might be significant for someone and I'm also picking up 2014 significant time period something um pivotal happened in 2014 and i'm also getting um okay they're giving me 415 now sometimes when i call out numbers these could be addresses they could be zip codes or part of a zip code they could be telephone numbers um you just let it resonate you know however it resonates for you but i am also picking up the number 15 number 15 and the age 50 okay 50 yeah and 32 they're giving me the age 32 and I'm also getting 1988 okay um, and then somebody's phone number is coming through here okay 655 or 665 and I'm also getting 5148 now maybe these are lottery numbers I don't know you pick whatever you want actually I'm gonna do that I'm gonna pick five I'm gonna give you some numbers you want to play them you play them and I'm gonna give you one um, <laughs> let me give you five lottery numbers <laughs> see how this works out okay all right, we have six. Write these down. Eight. Zero. Eleven. Sixty-seven. Seventy-seven. 
Okay, you play that however you want. I don't know if, if that's just going to be five, like you, you can use them all or just use a couple or pick whatever you want, but those are your numbers. It's the first time I've done lottery numbers, so this is fun. We'll do this again. And if anybody wins, you better leave a comment and let us know. <laughs> all right, you guys, so I'm going to leave your messages there. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a fun reading. Good luck. I wish you guys the best. Remember, the second week of August, okay? So that would be August 7th through the 13th something is showing up here in love um also i want to just give you a quick caveat before i finish okay if you want to click off now you can if not you can listen if you guys click on a tarot reader anywhere here on youtube and you listen to a reading and you feel worse than you did before you clicked on that reading block that tarot reader and don't ever go back okay um because uh, I've been doing this a long time, not just in my regular life, but in uh, here on YouTube. There are a lot of tower readers. I don't know how many, um, but there are, let's just say there are some tower readers that they're having their own personal difficulty in their personal lives. And they use tarot strictly for healing purposes because it helps them. Unfortunately, there are tower readers though that are angry and they'll pick out a particular sign and they'll project their anger into the reading, okay? Especially if you're cross-watching, which is why I say be careful with cross-watching readings, um, because it could put you in a much worse position if you're struggling. If you're in a position where you're struggling, you're just seeking hope. If you come away from a reading and you feel worse, you don't need to be listening to any tarot readings that are doing that to you, because like I said, there's some readers that have a vendetta and they're strictly doing readings because they're either hoping their person is going to listen and they want to cut them down. And if that's your sign, it's not even about you. Okay. Know that those readers are not connected to the divine. They're not downloading spiritual messages. They're not mediums. They're just pissed off, angry readers. Now, there, there's a lot of amazing, wonderfully, beautifully gifted tarot readers on YouTube. And those are the ones that you can tell that when you're done listening to them, you actually feel better. You feel better about yourself, about your situation, about your life. Okay. Try not to get yourself in a position where, it, and, and I'm not talking about an occasional, I'm talking about almost all the time, those tarot readers. And I don't, I've never... I've seen like one or two over the past six or seven years that their readings were nothing but um, hatred and they get a lot of nasty comments and people are like, they're not doing well <laughs> unless there's people riding their coattails and they're all up in the hate too. The whole purpose of the reading is to give you a little insight and to give you some type of hope back. At least I try to do that with my readings. Maybe I fall short sometimes. I don't really know. Um, but if you ever listen to a reading and you walk away feeling worse than before you clicked on that reader, just get away from that, okay? And I don't know why I had to give this message. I gave it in my on my other channel. And um, something just came up for me. And they said, tell Virgo and everybody else to just be careful what you listen to because you're feeding your brain. <laughs> you know, you're feeding your brain. So you know, listen to the readings with discernment. Okay. And if you start feeling bad and you're like, oh no, th th that's not giving you hope about yourself. It's just telling you that somebody doesn't like you or they don't want you or they hate you or anything like that. That does not solve any problems <laughs> at all. That just, that's abusive. That's an abusive tower reader. All right. I'm done with that. All right. I'm going to leave your reading there. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.